And in the course of covering this story, a tense and sometimes hostile situation broke out between Chicago police and a collection of journalists outside the hospital where the little girl was taken. Officers say they were called to the scene by hospital security concerned about trespassers as the situation escalated. Two media members, including Dan Ponce, ended up in handcuffs. Is it worth going? And you the first? No, no, no. Oh, I'm not. No, no. The first thing done at it, Jane. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. The other media member detained was a Channel 5 photographer. The media were earlier asked to move from the sidewalk in front of the hospital. They did move to a median in the center of Ogden Avenue where the situation of the confrontation took place. Tonight, the Chicago police released the following statement about the incident. It reads, The Chicago Police Department did not charge anyone with criminal trespass in connection with today's incident, which involved the unfortunate and senseless loss of a young child. We removed two individuals from the hospital at the request of hospital security guards who asserted that the individuals had tried to go past them into secure and private areas of the hospital. The security guards declined to press charges and the individuals were released. Our members were attempting to protect and respect both the grieving family members of the child and the memory of the child herself during a very stressful time for all parties involved. As always, we will carefully review the allegations in the event further action is warranted. Now, a spokesman from Mount Sinai Hospital would only say they were conducting an internal investigation. And tonight, our news director, Greg Caputo, also released a statement, and it said, the WGN reporter and photographer were at all times conducting themselves professionally and properly. They did not enter the hospital grounds, and they did nothing to antagonize any hospital security or Chicago police.